therefore, as you can see, this work is for Wednesday the 6th of January. This is your science. So in science this half term, we are looking at living things. So this is the first lesson in our living things topic, and we'll do some more lessons across the term. Okay, so today we're going to group living things in different ways. That's our question. Okay, so we're going to sort living things into different groups. Okay, so there are six main groups. There are fish, birds, mammals, amphibians, insects, and reptiles. Now, as I go through them, I'd like you to have a think about what's similar and what's different about the different groups. Okay, so first of all, we have amphibians. So amphibians live on land and in water, and they lay their eggs in water. So an example of an amphibian would be a frog and a salamander. Then we have reptiles. Okay, reptiles live in water and on land. They have scales and are cold-blooded, which means that they can't keep themselves warm. Okay, and they lay their eggs on land. Spotted a difference? Spotted a similarity? I think you might have. Okay, then we have mammals. Okay, mammals usually have hair or fur, and their babies are born alive. Okay, so they don't lay eggs; they have live, living babies. Okay, the mother feeds their babies milk, and we, we are classed as mammals, so humans are mammals. Okay, also lions and stuff. Then we have fish, okay. Fish live in water, I'm sure you could have all told me that one. They have fins instead of legs, and gills instead of lungs, and they lay eggs in water. Then we have insects. Insects have six legs. Their bodies are made up of three parts. Some have wings and they lay eggs. Okay, then there's birds. Birds have beaks, wings, feathers and two legs. Two legs and they also lay eggs. So you'll have spotted some similarities and some differences between the different groups, okay? All right, so this is task one. This task can be found saved on Teams so you might be able to print it off. I appreciate some of you won't be able to print it off, so if you can't, what you can do is do exactly like I've done and draw yourself a chart, okay? So you need six columns on your chart, and then you need to write the six different main groups at the top of the chart, okay? Then have a little look at the pictures, which is also on the document on Teams, okay? And you need to then sort these animals into the correct groups. So I've already told you that humans are mammals, so you will write humans, in the correct place on your chart and then you need to do exactly the same for the rest of the pictures okay so work out which group they need to go into and write it in the correct place okay what i suggest you do now is you pause the video while you do task one and when you finish task one come back on and i'll talk to you about task two okay all right task two sorting the animals into carol diagrams so the first thing you need to do is you either need to print off the task that are saved on teams or if you can't print it off again what you can do is you can draw yourself a carol diagram just like the one i've drawn on the board okay and then you need to put your criteria in so we've got mammal and bird and i've got can fly and cannot fly it's really important that one of your criteria is can do something can't do something does lay eggs doesn't lay eggs okay because that's what will help when you're kind of sorting your your animals into the correct boxes okay so here are my animals. So a bat is a mammal and it can fly. So mammal can fly and I'll pop that in that box there. Okay. Next one, penguin. Penguin is a bird, but it cannot fly. So I will write penguin in this box here. Okay. Then the next one, cow. Cow is a mammal and it cannot fly, so I will write it in that box there. Ostrich is a bird, but that also cannot fly. Okay, flying squirrel. Now you'd think with a name like flying squirrel that a fly, it would be able to fly. However, it cannot. Okay, it looks like it's flying because it can leap quite far between trees and it holds its arms out and has wings um, but it does not fly so it is a mammal and it cannot fly so it needs to go in this 
fault. And in, sorry, my handwriting's not the best. And then we've got horse, which is a mammal and cannot fly, and it'll go in here. Now I wonder if you could add any extra animals into my into my Venn diagram. So you might want to do two Venn diagrams. You might want to finish mine off by adding some extra animals. But your task that you have been set is making your own Carol diagram. Okay? So all of the animals live in water. Or live, um, all of these animals live in or on water, okay? So can you come up with a criteria to sort these animals? So we've got dolphin, shark, whale, frog, mallard, and water boatman, okay? So you might want to use the internet to find out about these animals, or you might just know. And you might use the internet, once you've got your criteria, to find some extra animals to add into your carol diagram. Okay, I look forward to seeing the work that you do.